put the group together? Who, whose decision was it to put you, Donna, and Lil G together? Three people from three different hoods. Uh, it, it, it was me, Lil G, and Dopey. Um, and and well, uh, fucking um, I got I got the CD right there. You know what I mean? Um, uh, we're working with uh, um, Lil G's older homeboy. Okay. His neighborhood. You know what I mean? Okay. So so um so it was me, Dopey, uh, uh Dopey, Lil G, me, and then uh, um his, his older homeboy, uh, CEO of the label, was the one that was plugging us all in with shit like that. Okay. Yeah. At first it was just at first. It was just Lil G. Cause look, check it out. We're gonna go a little a little further behind before that happened. Oh, let's, let's dig the dirt yeah. then. Let's dig it. Before that happened, me and Lil me and Lil G were part of a uh, of a of another Chicano rap record label. You know what I mean? What so, label? What, what label is this? Uh, um, it's uh, down for my shit records. Okay. All right. All right. So fuck it. I'm gonna I'm I'm throw it out there. I don't give a fuck. We promote it. Some people don't like to throw names out there. You know what I mean? Because they don't want to give other promotion to other people. But fuck it. We, people know this shit. Yeah. People are really so, so me just hiding shit like that. Just you know what I mean? Just yeah. makes me like ah, oh, look at this fool. You know what I mean? So fuck it. Um. So so we're look, working with that label. Um. Shit went south. Shit did just didn't work out. You know what I mean? For whatever reason. And um. Me and Logi kind of lost contact. He kept going with the music. I kind of like, you know, was like whatever. Still doing my my thing in the streets and shit. Um, um, so I was kind of like whatever. So about a year later, I get a phone after we start fucking with this label. I get a phone call from him and he tells me, "Hey, bro," he's like, "Hey, uh, um, I'm, I'm over here." He's like, "You still rapping?" And I'm like, uh, here, "You know, here and there, you know what I mean? It's just it's whatever." Like I've always rapped, anyways. You know, I've always made music. I've always done done that. So um. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, what was up? He's like, man, I got this shit sent you with that bro, shit like that. And I was like, man, this... <laughs> uh, <laughs> you like, like, man, hey, hey, you on the phone, like, man. I was like, I was like, yeah, he's like, I was like, all right, I mean, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, you know what I mean? We'll see. And, and sure enough, sure enough, he called me, he introduced me to his homeboy right away, right on the spot. Um, uh, took me, uh, took me to uh, where they had the home studio. Took me to the spot, blah blah blah. I got there. The homeboy right away. He had a home studio and shit. Like back in those days, for somebody to have that setup, you had to have bread. You know what I mean? So I get there and, and they put the mic up. They're like, "Hey, uh, uh, rap some shit. We're gonna see if you got what it takes." And 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 I'm like, "All right, fuck it." They pull it up. I just start freestyling off the top of my head. They're like, "All right, hold up, hold up. All right, cool, boop, boop, boop. Let's get this shit rolling." Yeah. So we just started right away, just working on tracks, working on tracks, working on tracks, and taking on the death row. To seeing them, seeing them, uh, what they like, seeing what's their opinion. Yeah, you know what I mean. One thing that for sure they they didn't want us doing. Now you can see it on the tracks that me and Lil G were doing. We're down for my shit, and with the tracks that we're doing, we came out. We're working on the death row shit. They didn't want us kind of like rapping fast a little bit. Okay, you know what I mean. Like they were like, hey, y'all gotta slow it down. That rap, rapping fast shit. You know what I mean. They were like, slow it down, do it like this, blah blah blah, whatever. And then we we, we got some mold in our sound. From okay. There. Okay, okay. From there, from there. Now who was now now now, now who was uh, uh telling y'all to, to slow it down? The that producer? Sh Shug, that was Shug's opinion. That was Shug's opinion. That was Shug's opinion. Oh, straight from the horse's mouth. Yeah, that was straight Shug's opinion. He 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 wanted us to like kind of focus more on instead of just doing that that uh, um I be the one to be holding the pistol, most whooping the end of one never got flow, keeping the gangster with keeping the shanky whooping the throat. Like, instead of doing shit like that, yeah, you know what I mean. They wanted more, more uh, um, uh, something that's more impactful, a little slower that you can listen to. And make, hit, make, hold on, you uh, hold on, you got uh, give us an example. Like, like, kind of like shit. Uh, um, coming home from school, I know my mom's got the call saying that I'm up in class acting a fool, but it's cool. I took my whooping like a man. Now I'm out the door because I'm trying to get some cash. It ain't easy for a fool like me. Growing up on welfare, gotta struggle to eat. Mom's barely making ends meet. But I know there's gonna be better days, but for now that's how I roll. You know what I mean? Like something slower like that. I ain't gonna lie, that shit wasn't. That was, that's a real song? Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. real song. Oh shit, I felt that shit. Yeah, that's a real song. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so. That, that, that's me and Lil G right there. Uh, Lil G featured me on that one right there. Uh, the struggle. All right, so when so when did Dopey come into the picture? Uh, a little a little bit after that, a little a little a little bit after me and G, Lil G started doing that thing back again. Um, uh, shit. Um, his his homeboy was the one telling him because he had all the equipment, and Lil G had only done they were they were already had gone a few times over there and kind of did this whole thing before I got into the, into the picture. 
Um, and when I got there, I rapped, boop, 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 whatever, we started getting ready, started working on the on the, on the on the music and shit. Um, the only thing that was there was Lil G just had one verse on one beat, mm -hmm. and that's it. So uh, his homeboy was like, man, like, if we only got this, like, we got to call somebody else. You know, we got to get some more artists. We got, you know what I mean? We can't be sitting. We got this opportunity. You can't just be sitting, like, this one verse and one should been sitting here for a minute. So when I got there, um, we started dro dropping more tracks. Then we needed another artist just to get more material, more tracks, more shit going. So Lil G was the one that brought his homeboy in. That was his homeboy from his neighborhood. Okay. And okay. he's the one that he's the one that brought him, brought him around. And um, he, he, that young dopey man, he he was like he was a kid. He was like 15, 16 years old, but he was the ride and shit. He had the van already. He already, you know, he scooped us up, take us to the studio and shit. Yeah. No license, no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> No license, no nothing, bro. Just pulling up in the, you know what I mean? Pulling up in the, in the, in the thing and just dipping. Let me ask you this, bro. Um, you knowing Young Dopey from when he was wild as hell, 15 years old, seeing that the trials and tribulations that he went through beating that case and and seeing him now with the maturity, what's your opinion on that, man? Just proud of him. Can't say nothing less than that, you know what I mean? Just proud of somebody that, that is doing good for themselves and their family. Can't say anything less than that, you know? Yeah. Gotta respect it. Gotta respect it. Gotta respect it. And he living life right now, going to Rams games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Respect, and, I, I, and I love the line that he's pushing, because I really, he was the first, I, he was the first South Sider to publicly come out and say that we need to squash the beef with the Northerners. Yeah. You know, he's, he's, uh, he kind of he kind of pushed that line on on his uh, IG live, and you know, yeah, that's how he felt. You know? Yeah, that's 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 what that's what um that's what you were saying with maturity and with growth. That's what that is. You know what I mean? Because you got to go through certain shit to be able to see certain perspectives. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure he didn't feel like that when he was out here. You know exactly. what I mean? You know, and once you go through things and it's survival, and it's like, man. Sometimes, you know what I mean? Whatever happened, maybe, I don't know, whatever, something that must have happened to make him have that opinion, yeah. you know, must have been something that had to, you know what I mean? To well, look with Survivor or some shit like that. I'm going to give my opinion on that. I, I used to, I felt, and I still feel the same way. Um, I see the pride that Mexican people have in their culture. I see the, 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 how they, how a Mexican, how, how a lot of Mexican people, they learn their history, they, 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 they learn the Mayan, the Aztec history, and they're proud of the they proud of the culture. And we use we we use uh, slogans like um, La Raza, or I, I might say this wrong, but no, hey, forgive me, Magente. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, Magente. Yeah. yeah. But how can you say that when you hate your race that's just on the northern northern part of the state? You know what I mean? That's that's that. Now that is a whole another topic and a whole another conversation right there. You know what I mean? Because that's, I mean, you really can't. You know what I mean? How can you say that? You know what I mean? That's that's kind of like, you know, how can you say you got you got the pride you're over here killing? You know, you can kill somebody. But again, we can feel like that out here. But when it comes to survival again, yeah. you know what I mean? When when your back's against the wall, yeah, and you might have to go to war. You know what I mean? You got to go to war and. You know what I mean? In war, it's like, you know, if you got to go to war, you got to go to war. You, gotta go, you yeah. know what I mean? To survive. Yeah. You know, sometimes war is not pretty. And sometimes, you know, war is costly. You know, shit could be avoided in a diplomatic way. You know what I mean? Obviously, you know, but, you know, it, it's, it just comes back to survival. You know what I mean? If we're out here and we feel that way, somebody's in there behind those walls, we're not there with them, you know what I mean? If they gotta do something to somebody that looks like them to survive, yeah. they're gonna do it, you know what I mean? Back and forth or vice versa, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's true, you can't, you know, I, you know, it's, it's just, it's two contexts, you know, out here, in there, you know, shit, and there's work, out here, you know, you're chilling, you, you, got a, you got a choice to like, be like, man, am I gonna partake in this type of mentality, in this type of thinking, or am I gonna um, take advantage of, of, of my freedom and, and pursue other, other 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 things that 